the local storm team. Meteorologist Chase Arnold with the Mid-South's most accurate forecast. Well, thankfully, your air conditioner should not be working as hard the next couple of days thanks to some increased storm chances in the forecast. Right now, we're not seeing much on Doppler radar 516 and outside of a few light showers there just east of Jonesboro. We're not worried about too much at the moment. We are keeping an eye on a cluster of storms moving through Arkansas earlier today, but as you can see, a lot of that activity kind of fizzling out as it tried to push into the Mid-South, those heavier storms staying to our south. But it has been plenty cloudy today as we take a look at the satellite there, and that has helped keep temperatures in check for many of us. In fact, just one spot right now in the 90s. That's here in Memphis, sitting in 92. Uh, mid to upper 80s for many of us. Cool spot right now in Jonesboro. Maybe catching a few of those showers earlier this evening, seeing it 83. With the humidity, it's still pretty bearable for late July. It does feel like 95 here in Memphis. Just shy of 100 what it feels like in Clarksdale. But for many of us, low 90s, even upper 80s, all it feels like at the moment. As we take a look at your forecast for the rest of this evening, 72 a low here in Memphis. We'll keep the chance for a few storms in play. I think a lot of us, though, going to stay pretty quiet heading into tomorrow morning. Looking ahead to your commute for tomorrow, want to keep an eye on the radar heading out the door. Temperatures mid-70s around 8 a.m. I think we're going to see bigger problems for that drive home as storm chances will increase heading into the afternoon and early evening. But as you can see, 85 It'll be a little cooler out there. Low severe threat for your Monday. You can see everybody under that marginal risk. So an isolated chance for some damaging winds with any storms that do develop for the start of the work week. As we go hour by hour, you can see the models keeping some of those storm chances in overnight. But right now it looks like a relatively quiet start to the morning. As we get right around lunchtime into the early afternoon, you'll start to see some of those storms developing. And it looks like it will stick around for that drive home and even through the rest of our Monday evening. Now, what's interesting to note here heading into Tuesday, models now have this area low pressure very quickly moving off to our east. So for our Tuesday storm chances, it looks like that be, might be more so east of the Mississippi River. But Monday, Tuesday will certainly be our highest storm threat days of the upcoming week. Let's take a look at your best care plumbing Heating and air seven day forecast 84 what we get down to by Tuesday on the back end of that system with some storm chances still in play. We do warm up a little bit the rest of the work week as things dry out, but highs right around 90 for Thursday, Friday. That's still a little bit below average for this time of year. And thankfully, we're not going to be talking anything too overly hot as we get into this time next weekend. Remember, for more on that forecast, find us on Facebook. Make sure to like us at Local Memphis for more updates. Yeah, as I say, felt pretty nice out there today. Like, not typical July, August summer down here. Yeah, like I said, an even bigger cool down expected the next couple of days thanks to some of those showers and storms. All right, well, thanks for that. All right, All right Chase, thank you. Coming up,